And for many local businesses, finding workers has become a full-time job. And while offering incentives is working, there are two sides to that story. Lena Lai has details. Business is brisk at Nico's Bar and Grill in North Royalton, where their signature heroes are plenty, but workers are hard to come by. I feel like I was, I'm in the twilight zone after 29 years of business. In nearly three decades, owner Nico Mulajanis has never seen such a labor shortage. His help wanted ads have been out for months, not a bite. Two months. I used to have stats. Stacks of applications. Nico's dilemma is being seen across the country. The latest numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics show nationwide there are more than 9.3 million job openings, a new record. I prefer to look at this as a mismatch, and that means that it's going to take some time before we have a proper realignment of workers with the jobs that are currently open. The Ohio Restaurant Association's latest survey this week shows 91% of its members are dealing with staffing shortages and most blaming extended unemployment benefits. And it's not just restaurants. Down the road on Route 82, signs for a $3,000 hiring bonus for a technician at AgPro, a first for the company. The idea and hopes are that we can incentivize somebody that's qualified that wants to work. But for small restaurant owners where the profit margin is as thin as Nico's Euro meat, raising wages is not so easy. Say, oh, if you can't afford to pay $15 an hour, then you shouldn't be in business. You know, I'm sorry, you've never worked hard enough to see what it takes to do what we do. And that could lead to raising prices just announced by Chipotle to cover rising labor costs. In the end, we are going to pay. <laughs> We gotta pay dearly. So what's next for Ohio restaurants? Well, many owners are waiting to see what happens after June 26. That's when Ohio officially opts out of federal unemployment programs, eliminating that extra $300 of benefits. Russ, we'll have to wait and see if that spurs job seekers. We certainly will. Lena Lai, thanks.